Hey y'all, Dr. Daria here. There's a lot of misconception when it comes to this concept of flattening the curve, and I explained this on CNN the other day, and I wanted to hop on and I wanted to share it with you. Now, why are we flattening the curve? We are not flattening the curve to erase the curve, to eradicate the curve, to eradicate COVID and coronavirus. It's going to still be around. We are flattening the curve to keep and make sure that the number of hospitalization beds that we need stay under capacity of our hospitals. When they stay under capacity of our hospitals and our hospitals can manage it, mortality rates around 1%. But as soon as our demand exceeds our hospital capacity to manage it, that's when mortality rates jump to five to 8% to see those scenarios like what we're seeing in Italy where they're rationing ventilators. We are flattening the curve to save those 7% of lives that are the difference between a 1% mortality and an 8% mortality. That is why we are doing it. It's just really important that you understand why we did this so you can know what to expect after. So your next question is, so you mean that after doing all this, I'm still gonna get sick? Yes and no. According to one study that came out last week, we really only diagnosed around 6% of the total people who have coronavirus. So there is a pretty decent chance, depending on where you live, that you may have already had the coronavirus and you were in that group of kind of low symptomatic, maybe asymptomatic, but probably more low symptomatic people who may have confused their symptoms with having an allergy or just a, a very mild cold. Secondly, there's something called inoculation dose. And that is that you get sicker based on being exposed to more virus at the same time. So had we not done these lockdowns and social distancing, go to the grocery store, everybody's sick, everybody's coughing in your face, you get exposed to a lot more, you get sicker. Versus post-social distancing, you go to the grocery store, you're gonna be exposed to less and fewer people who are sick. So even if you do get exposed, since you're exposed to less, you probably get less sick. Just wanted to hop on so you know that. We did flattening of the curve not to eradicate COVID. We're not able to do that just yet. We did it to help make you less sick, to buy us time, and to make sure that if you do get sick, we have the hospital resources to be able to take care of it. I'm Dr. Daria. I'll be answering your COVID questions. Let me know what else you want to know about or what else is confusing to you, and I'll see you next time.